Stories from Bug Garden by Lisa Moser, illustrated by Gwen Millward. And this is my all-time favorite children's book. The Garden. The garden was old and forgotten, with a tumble-down wall and one wheeled barrow. No one came down the weedy path to take care of it or sit among the flowers, so they moved in one by one by one. Ladybug. Ladybug never liked her name. A lady had to sip tea, fold her napkin, and sit up very tall. But when no one was looking, Ladybug ran barefoot, made mud angels, and whistled through a blade of grass. Horsefly and Butterfly. What are you doing? asked Butterfly. I am running, said Horsefly. See the wind ripple my mane? See my mighty hooves flash? See my tail streaming behind? No, said Butterfly. I don't see any of those things. Look again, said Horsefly, as he ran around the garden. Butterfly watched closely. You know you're not a horse. You're a horsefly, a teeny tiny bug. Horsefly stopped running. He looked at Butterfly and sniffed. Well, you're not Butter, either. Then he ran some more. Dragonfly. Halt, said Dragonfly. Go no farther. Everyone went another way, except Horsefly. Go no farther, said Dragonfly. What will you do? asked Horsefly. Will you breathe fire? I don't do that, said Dragonfly. Will you scratch me with your dragon claws? Of course not, said Dragonfly. Then stand back, said Horsefly. Smack! Right into a gob of tree sap. I told you not to go farther, said Dragonfly. I should have listened, said Horsefly. Just... B. B sat on a lilac branch and watched the clouds. Shouldn't you fly around? asked Dragonfly. Shouldn't you sip nectar from flowers? asked Lightning Bug. Shouldn't you make honey? asked Horsefly. I don't want to do any of those things, said B. What do you want to do then? B just settled back to watch the clouds. Just B, said B. Roly Poly. Butterfly watched. <clears throat> Roly Poly curled up in a ball and started rolling. Wahoo! said Roly Poly. He rolled past the peach trees. Wahoo! He rolled out the gate. Wahoo! He rolled down the path. Wahoo! Then he unrolled and started back. It's a long walk, said Butterfly. Yes, it is, huffed Roly Poly. It will take hours and hours, said Butterfly. Maybe even longer, puffed Roly Poly. You'll be tired when you get there, said Butterfly. Very, very, very tired, said Roly Poly. What will you do when you get back? asked Butterfly. Roly Poly looked at him and grinned. I'm going to do it all over again. Big Ant and Little Ant. One hot summer day, the bugs had barely finished their picnic when Roly Poly called, Hurry, hurry, it's about to start. Big Ant and Little Ant followed everyone and picked a spot. Look up, said Big Ant. The big show will be up there. What will I see? asked Little Ant. You'll see all sorts of colors, red, pink, blue, yellow, orange, said Big Ant. They'll come in every shape and size, too. Little Ant snuggled closer to Big Ant. Pop! Ooh, cheered the bugs. Boom! Ah, cheered the bugs. Little Ant and Big Ant watched the colors dance and swirl up above. That was the most beautiful thing I ever saw, said Little Ant. Yes, agreed Big Ant. It's always a spectacular show when the flowers bloom. Cricket. A strong wind frisked and frolicked among the flowers. Cricket hurried and hopped onto the gate. Whoosh! The gate creaked from its resting place and swung forward. Farewell! Farewell! I am leaving on a grand adventure. I don't know if I will ever see you again, called Cricket. Whoosh! The gate swung back. I was wrong. I am back. I will never leave again. Whoosh! The gate swung forward. I'm off! I'm off to do marvelous deeds! Whoosh! The gate swung back. My mistake, so sorry. Whoosh! The gate swung forward. Goodbye, dear friends. I am the greatest cricket explorer in the world. B turned to look at Snail. How long will this go on? Not much longer, said Snail. Does everyone remember their jobs? I'll latch the gate, said Ladybug. I'll wave and cheer, said Rilly Pulley. And I'll get the sign, said Little Ant. Welcome home. Reach a peach. 
Big Ant and Cricket looked at the pretty peach. The best way to reach a peach is at the top of the hop, said Cricket. He jumped and jumped and jumped. He tried to reach the peach. No, said Big Ant. The best way to reach a peach is at the bottom of the drop. She climbed up the tree and stood on the peach. She jumped and jumped and jumped. Top of the hop, said Cricket jumping. Bottom of the drop, said Big Ant jumping. Top, drop, top, drop, stop, said Big Ant. We're never going to get this peach. Cricket and Big Ant sat under the peach tree. A strong wind bopped through the garden. Her plop. Ah, said Cricket. Now we know the very best way to reach a peach. Let the wind blow it down, said Big Ant. Jump, jump, jump. Earthworm. He loved the flowers best from way up high. He buzzed among the bright petals. The snail loved the flowers best from the ground. She glided through the green jungle of stems. The earthworm loved the flowers best from way down below. She wiggled and wiggled and giggled under the rainbow of rainbows of roots. Snail. Three friends hid behind a rock. Finally, the picnic people went home. What a mess, said Ladybug. Look at this trash, said Butterfly. I'll take care of it, said Snail. She pushed the cup, the spoon, and the napkin to the creek bank. You're a saint, said Ladybug. A real gem, said Butterfly. Snail tinkered around a bit. Then she pushed her new boat back into the creek. No, I'm just a, sna a sail snail. And you two would make a great crew. The friends hopped in the boat and set sail together. Lightning Bug. Lightning Bug loved playing games. Tag, kickball, duck duck goose. He never ever won at hide and go seek. So he was the all time champion of follow the leader. The garden again. The garden was old with a tumble down wall and a one wheeled barrow, but it wasn't forgotten anymore because they all called it home. The end.